So um, let me ask you something before we go on, real quick, ladies. Mm-hmm. Have you oh, ever good, good. have you ever dated a guy? We're gonna start with you, Sam. Have you ever dated a guy, but in your mind you had just in case of emergency backup partner? You knew who you were gonna go to if if things didn't work out with this guy. Do you ever have that? Yep. You've had that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. How about you? Um. Kiss it closer to the microphone, please. <laughs> Just grab the microphone, pull it towards you. Definitely in my early dating years, but not now. I'm too confident for needing a backup plan. Okay, nice. So. I think every woman kind of does. Because has, has yeah. a backup partner. Uh-huh. What do you think, Sav? I've never had a backup. So you just every when you were with I'm, Mike, that was just nothing but Mike. No, I'm all in. Okay, like I'm always all in. Nice, very interesting. Okay, <laughs> Chloe. Definitely my early twenties. You had a backup partner, not so much now. Hill, what do you think? Yeah, I'm too old for that shit. To have a backup partner? Well, it's interesting. So there's some statistics on this. Can we show this? I can, actually. Uh, If you want to show... Oddly enough, I've written about this on the Rational Mail. Okay, Uh, nice. uh, An essay called Plan B. Uh, Let me just give you the... uh, We'll we'll, we'll get to the uh, video in just a second. Again, when he wrote that, there was no Plan B. There was no Plan B, yes. (laughs) This is before Uber. And and by the way, you'll notice the date on this is March 14th. Today, mm-hmm. uh, 2016. So I wrote about this quite some time ago. Uh, 2,000 female respondents, uh, 43% have a backup man uh, in a current rela- if the current relationship ends. Uh, eight out of 10 are in contact with the backup man. Oh, wow. 15% said their feelings were stronger for the backup man. <laughs> Uh, 50% said their partner was aware of the backup man. Wow. One knew, out, knew who they were. Yes. <laughs> one, out of, one out of five admitted the backup man was a friend of their partner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and one out, of, one out of ten said the backup man had already confessed their undying love. Incredible. Wow. 2016, but by the I'm way. Missing the like stats. How old are these people? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, a good yeah. point. Yeah. 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 I've never had a backup. God, I'm doing something wrong. Okay, so speaking of not having a backup, you did mention before that you were dating a guy while filming with someone else. Did you you just talk to me about that before we started the show? Uh, yeah, but I was filming with a girl though. I was. Oh, filming, so that doesn't count. Yeah, so that so doesn't just, just so we're clear, this does is, not count. This is how this is how it works on Access Vegas. Every time you sleep with a woman, your body count goes, goes down, down by one. one. It goes oh. down by one. So <laughs> I mean, thirty I guys, very generous. thirty guys, thirty yeah. girls, you're yes. a virgin. That's they cancel out. Okay, <laughs> awesome. But you've never, you've never, because you you were you when know, I was with him, I was a hundred percent monogamous even with work, even okay. filming everything. Okay, so this is my question. So you did film Guy Girl content, but then when you broke up, now you felt like you, now you're filming with other people. I am like, now. What was that transition like? I feel so liberated. Yeah. I feel, I'm so happy. I felt like I was holding back who I was and I wanted to, I wa- I'm like a little fairy, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I wanna do what I want when I wanna do it. And out of respect to our relationship at the time, I held back a lot of my wants and desires. And I feel like as a woman, you know, especially, I pay my own bills, I'm successful, you know? And that, that respect that I had for our relationship was, was, not, um, was not appreciated. So looking back, it's like, wow, I did all of this and it's still not appreciated. So now for the first time in my life, I'm doing exactly what I wanna do, when I wanna do it, and with who I wanna do it with. Do you, so I, I know you filmed with Karen, was there anybody else? Uh, Johnny Sens. <laughs> you filmed with Johnny Sens. Okay. So my qu- right, my qu- right, like by the way, right, how did you right. how did you contact it or did did Kieran contact you? How did that work? Um, I was introduced to Kieran, a mutual friend. Uh huh. By the way, and- shout out to Kieran. I'm pretty sure he's watching. <laughs> I this. love Kieran. Yeah. Kieran's amazing. Yeah. Hi, Kieran Lee. Um, and then he actually, um, I think it was like you said, noticeable. Yeah. I was single yeah. on Instagram, and he's like, you fancy if. A fancy so, so that's right. You and me. You so that's her and I were on a phone call one time, and she was commenting on the fact that it was very obvious that I had a girlfriend by the way I post. Mm-hmm. And I looked at her stuff, and I was like, "It's very obvious that you are single now." <laughs> I pointed that out to her, and then so since that happened, because I just want the guys out there to know this is how it works. You and your girlfriend break up, and then Johnny sins and Karen Lee slide into your girlfriend's DMs, <laughs> so they can make a hundred tickets. They can make six figures on OF. So and I'm can, filming with uh, Manuel Ferreira. How, how did you get in touch with Johnny Sins? Johnny sends. Um, I'm in a um, a WhatsApp chat with yeah. the bigger porn talent, and um, you know he's like, "I'm available Saturday," and I was like, "Ooh!" And then he was just like, "Oh, you know, I seen you in the chat, and it just happened." And great performer, great performer. I gotta say, I think my guts were sore for like three days afterwards, but oh I took it like a champ. God. I took definitely not an amateur over here. I'll That's nice. Okay, it so, is nice, so, right? Isn't it? Sad. So, sad. Moving forward, do you want a traditional monogamous relationship? 
I want, <laughs> you know, that definition is is different with everybody. To me, work is not not being monogamous. What to me is whoa, whoa. It's, so you could have a relationship and still film with other dudes. Is that and what you're they saying? could film with women as well. Okay, yeah. Like if I was dating someone in the industry, that's work. That's really performing. Like on camera is so different than intimate love making like you have to be open to the camera i mean and when i'm making love i'm not open to yeah. anything so you know? if it's on camera does it not count it doesn't no it's that's not cheating because there's no level of intimacy it's at all whatsoever it's the same with being a stripper yeah wait 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 wait, 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 wait. No, no, i, I want to make sure we're very clear and get this all on the record number one having sex on camera does not count and number two kirsten says having sex on camera is the same thing as being a stripper go ahead yes because it's not sex mm-hmm. It's, it's your not, job. It's mm-hmm. not sexual. Yeah, it's it's like work. It's, it's it's not the same connection. What? Okay, so there's uh, no connection. So, so, so yeah. I, I, out of curiosity, why why do you think guys yeah. have a problem with it then? Why do you think? Because, because they're, they're insecure. Not doing it. Because they're not doing it. They're not doing yeah. it. Because what would you say? It's not. Oh, I, I think it was. Yeah. I said because they're insecure. Because they're yeah. insecure. Okay, I got a I got another reason for you. It's not because you didn't enjoy it. It's because the other guy did enjoy it. That's why we have a problem with it. That's it's, fair. Yeah, the Honestly, reason. That's fair. Yeah, it's not. It's it not the situation. Whenever a girl's like, "Oh, I just f-ing dude in a bathroom," blah blah blah, and he's like, "I didn't. I don't bathroom. even remember. I don't even remember what happened." <laughs> and the girl's like, "I don't even remember what happened." Or like, like when's the last time anybody's f-ing dude in the bathroom? Me two weeks ago okay, with so Will Pounder. <laughs> yeah, you can with Will Pounder. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay. Anyway, going back to what, what, what I'm saying, it's not we're not we're not. We're, it's like I, I've heard girls say this before. It's like, yeah, I filmed with these guys, but I didn't enjoy it. I'm like, but he enjoyed it. That's what brought, that's what, that's what bothers us. So just so, just so we're clear, it's not a function of insecurity either. It's like it's like two hundred thousand years of evolutionary fucking wiring. But that's the reason. Go ahead. Do guys like that go for the same type of woman? Guys like what? Absolutely. Like, like just like yeah, say porn don't. stars, OnlyFans, strippers. Do they always follow that? Like, which guys train? are we talking about? Yeah. Like I, guys, I don't understand what you're saying. Like guys who High fuck color color men. Yeah, like the, what you guys were just talking about. Like guys, um, <clears> like <throat> they didn't, en- they enjoyed it more, so they didn't, and that's why they're jealous or whatever, right? Is that what we're? I, I'm not sure which guys we're talking about. Like guys who, okay. I think it's important to make a point that the the men in the industry are also professionals. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It's not or guys like, who are not in the industry. Sorry, that's what I'm trying I, to get at. But if you're who going go to that. date a girl in the industry and have a problem with it, you need to be rich. oh no no no. I, I you to- need to be able to remove yeah, okay, her from okay. the industry so she doesn't have to do it. I totally yeah. agree with you. Or my, you're underqualified my, my, to have an opinion. My, my po- he's supposed to sorry. remove you from yeah. the industry. You can. Yeah. supposed to remove you. Or you could be so rich that you're like, I don't want you doing this. I have billions of dollars. Can I fucking can I, relax? Can I I, ask, can I, I, I like her. Here's, so, can I ask you a question? So only a billionaire can only take a you out. Absolutely, only a billionaire. You should I, all be I like you. But then guys like that still go for girls like still still, Kirsten, still, Kirsten, Kirsten, still pay for girls Kirsten, and stuff. So if Doesn't I'm a, if I'm a billionaire and you're doing and I'm gonna I give wouldn't. you my girlfriend. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not saying I love fake. Oh, God. God. So God. so if I if I'm doing that and and um and you're and I'm a billionaire, and you're doing porn. Not not you specifically, but in general, the proverbial you okay. are doing porn. And I'm gonna pull you out of you doing porn so that you can be with me. Couldn't I just be with someone else who didn't do porn? Yeah, but your connection you share with that. the person is so unique. But she's and Julia universal. Roberts and Pretty Woman. Got That's it. Why. <laughs> Absolutely. I know a lot of men. Go ahead. That 23 year old, and I'm not saying everyone. For sure. Statistically, it's not always doesn't Fucking apply, like- but. We change a lot from 23 to 40. Mm-hmm. And that woman will set you down in her 30s and go find someone else. She will. like. Uh, so you're agreeing with me? She will absolutely be like, why am I with you if you're not performing or a billionaire that's not making me Or work? providing. I will set you down and go find someone that will be that. Well, I'm 23, <laughs> so I can say something. Go ahead. If you All right. Want me yeah. To. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I personally like dating older men because of the stability and for what they can provide. But as they get older, so do I get older. And there has to be something that keeps you guys together. For sure. Mm-hmm. There's definitely more than just like surface level things about Loyal, providing. Lo- loyalty, children, an empire that you guys build together for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Or a but, universal but, connection. So, like so, that physical vibe. Yeah, the energy. Yeah, so the energy, energy, the vibe. All right. So here's here the thing. Go. I, I want to go. go ahead and apologize because I literally had to like, the, 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 you guys know who you are, Tamika, fucking uh, the Pia, you guys. Uh, I wasn't referring to just saying that women who are 33 were like washed up. And I know some people have that opinion in the red pill space. That mm-hmm. wasn't my point. My point was you. The, my point was 
I want peace above everything. The point wasn't I want younger. The point was I want peace above I, above me not wanting anything else. If I didn't want peace and I didn't want to be in a relationship, let's just all have find the hottest girl. No one gives a fuck if that's what I wanted. But if I'm 46 and I'm running an eight figure business and I need my fucking peace and quiet at home and I want a relationship so I don't I'm not out on the prowl every day like when I was fucking 26. <laughs> if I want that and then possibly to have a wife and then to have kids, then in that case I want peace and I want peace more than I want anything. And the reason why I was making the statement is because often when I meet girls that are in their 30s and they're single, they tell me stories like what Savannah did where I'm living my best life now. Okay, you're living your best life, but like the thing is like this is why me and Savannah are really good friends because I don't want to date Savannah, she doesn't want to date me. We do not have have the same thing in common. Do you understand? <laughs> it's discernment without judgment. I don't yeah. judge Savannah, but we're not on the same vibe, and that's what I'm trying to explain. And a lot of ladies got really upset about that on this podcast. On the vibe. Yes, I never I thought I'd say that. It's funny. You say that merch, <laughs> but 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 it, but it's 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 one of these things where I'm not trying to be judgmental, but I can also choose to want peace above everything else. Mm -hmm. When I don't want peace, though, and I'm a I'm a famous movie star or I'm a famous rapper, then I'll just go whoever I can slide into my DMs with, and those girls are now stuck on their highest setting because they got Drake, and then they think because they- I don't they, like Drake. They, because, they, think, <laughs> Drake. they think because they pretend that they can get a nine to settle, and then the whole world is screwed up. Women mm -hmm. left swipe one, 600 times for every one time they right swipe. But to the contrary, when you date an ugly man because you think he's gonna be the safe option, you make, you boost his ego so far that he becomes well, but it's not. He but, but thinks it's, he's the king of the so, world. So, well, so no, you not. can also form men into something that you want to if they're you like a motivate. nerd or something. Oh you yeah, know? you can motivate them. And okay. if they have money, then it's no trouble. Okay, so he becomes a super nerd. Just <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's a here's a great transition. Okay, so Alex Datesyke re recently posted an article that he believes debunks red pill stuff. But uh, again, mm -hmm. no offense to Alex, he just doesn't seem to. He like, seems to do this. Oh, I'll red, offend Alex. <laughs> he seems to do this, this straw man argument again. Nobody in red pill was was disagreeing with this concept, and that was the idea that men were more likely to settle, but when they settled, it was for an eight, and women were more likely to settle for a guy who was a five. Of course, Alex forgets that 80% of men are deemed below average attractiveness by women, and we can see that from dating apps, meaning when a man says a woman is an eight, she's probably... An eight, and when a man says when when a woman says a man's a five, he's probably an eight. Just like you saw that one video, I don't know if you guys have seen it, where this one woman is saying Ryan Gosling was average. No, Ryan Gosling's not average. Even if you don't find Ryan Gosling attractive, if I'm here to stratify 10, 10 million men, Ryan Gosling is going to fit in the top one percent, regardless of what you think. That is the definition of not average. So women consistently, like Home Math does great videos on this, has some great charts. Women just consistently push men all the way to the left. So men who are in shape, really good looking women will could still consider them a five because women do not judge men based on their physical attractiveness anywhere to the level that men judge women on their physical attractiveness. I think and in, hold on. in general, women find men less attractive than men find women in general. And in fact, I'm women like find right. women more attractive <laughs> than women find men that's in right. general. Yeah. That's true. So yeah. that's the thing. So that that's why what Alex Datesyke posted is completely and totally debunked because a, a, a woman judging man to be a five, if we were to stratify that man amongst we're to rank him in the in what percentile, what quartile he's in, he's probably in the top ten or twenty percent, and women still call him a five. If the man was actually a five, she'd call him a, a one or a two. Because women put, especially in short-term dating, we've seen this numerous times, there's plenty of dating app data that shows this. 80% of men are deemed below average attractiveness on dating apps. The top 20% of men on dating apps get 60, I'm sorry, get 83% of the right swipes. The top 40% of men on dating apps get 96% of the right swipes, which means the bottom 60% of men are competing for 4% of women. It is completely inequitable. If dating was a country, it'd be Venezuela. It's complete. There's yeah. a few guys at the top doing incredibly well and a bunch of guys at the bottom who are not doing very well. This is Scott Galloway who said that, by the way. It's not me. Uh, so you got me monologuing. <laughs> that's funny. So, uh, so going back to what you are saying before about women dating, oh, it's like uh, my, my friend... Uh, uh, I have a, a close friend of mine, and she said she likes medium ugly. Like, that's what she's into <laughs> because she finds it to be like a, l a little less like intimidating. But what did she say? Wait, it's with a dash. Yeah. Uh, she, uh, yeah, she says, dash yeah, of you know what it is. Yeah. She, she goes, medium ugly with a dash of autism. That's like her favorite type <laughs> no, of guy. medium ugly, they're controllable. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was just saying. Man, we get they're so like much movable. honesty on the show. Hey, Nico, could you point, point that fan right at me? Uh, so so that's 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 so honest of you, Kirsten. I do appreciate it. Because I usually go that. for guidos, which is like pretty boys, and they're the worst. So then guidos. if you go for medium ugly, then it's a little bit better. You can actually. Oh, those guys. Okay, so so medium ugly with, with money or Obviously with money, with money right? Yeah. Okay, got it. My, my, I make my own money too, though. I don't need a man. You'd want it. So you don't want, want his money. 
I don't, I, I mean, no.